Dawson Rider with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Q Ranger episode 21. I believe it's 21. I always have trouble with this, but like before I sat down for these, I was having extra trouble today trying to remember the names. But I believe it's 21. So anyway, this was the debut of Ho-Oh Soldier, who is the 13th Ranger? No, 12th. 12th, there we go. Um, so 13 will be later. But so this is like the 12th Ranger. Um, so it was a pretty good episode. I thought it was a pretty good debut too because, I mean, granted we did have, you could call it rushed in a way if depending on the story because sometimes you'll have the character debut and immediately transform and all that. Um, but at least he didn't pull out his mecha and stuff. That sounded gross for some reason, but you know, for this first debut. But sometimes it's nice to have those ones where the character's introduced first and then, you know, we get into the transformation. But given that this entire Argo storyline has been building up to this. It, I thought it was a pretty good build up and a pretty decent payoff. And surprising if you don't follow any of the news or scans or anything like that. Which I don't know how many people in the Western fandom or like Japan do that. But like if I were to watch it from the outside. Uh, I was thinking about this during the episode. I would probably think it was the debut of some sort of new Zord or something like that. Which it technically will be in a way, because he gets his own, but you know what I mean. But then to reveal, oh, here's the ship, and then there's a, a ranger inside of it. It was kind of neat. So I thought it was really a nice payoff for this storyline that they've kept going and managed to keep going pretty well. Um, but before we get to that, let's just start at the top of the episode where they sort of wrapped up the Scorpio storyline. For what seems to be definitively, I can't really see them bringing it back really um, in a huge way. I could be wrong. Sometimes I'll say this, and then it'll completely surprise me. Like, but I could see them maybe bringing him back, like, as a random resurrection later, as, like, a clone or something, or to mess with him, or maybe just a straight-up resurrection. But for now, it does seem case closed. Um, he's been defeated. Um, I didn't expect him... I kind of expected it to be wrapped up with this, like I said last week. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was expecting a definitive death. I, I was maybe expecting, like, a death where then, like, you know, the classic scene at the end where his hand rises or something along those lines and I also wasn't expecting it to be wrapped up in basically like the first act or less than the first act it was basically wrapped up within the first five minutes and then like the the consequences of that was the rest of that and what like Ho Soldier fought but I thought it was going to be more throughout the whole episode so that kind of took me by surprise and it was some pretty solid scenes uh Champ is back he's the one that, that saved the day basically but uh, Stinger was the one that took him down, and he had a surprisingly meaningful, I guess if that's the right word, death scene. Um, I kind of expected when he did die that he would say something, not apologetic, but something more, uh, like, meaningful to his brother, I guess. But I didn't expect it to be on that level. Like, I expected it to be kind of like, well, you know, maybe I went overboard, but, or something. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I guess I expected him to say something to show that he, to show that he did care for his brother, but he, he said a lot more than I thought he was going to, and basically being like, he really, he really did say, I kind of went overboard, like, and you need to, you really are strong, you found good friends, uh, stay with them, and then he sort of helped them there at the end when, uh, that blast came at them. So that was kind of nice. It felt maybe a little sudden because he was kind of hard to read. This all kind of happened so fast and we did that whole I'm on your side, I'm not bit like classic. And like I said, I still think it would have been more interesting if he was sort of on their side but was more drastic. And I also think it, I'm surprised that he died just because they did uh, mention that whole storyline of him wanting to overthrow the guy. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe that will come back later, but it just seemed kind of surprising. But it was a decent end for it. Um, so some good scenes, uh, a good way to wrap it up with him and Champ, and, uh, to show that Stinger had, or, yeah, Stinger hadn't completely turned against his brother, like, right after he defeated him. He was like, oh, brother, I just stabbed you, or slashed you, or whatever. Side note, on a shallow toku fapping level, it was kind of neat to see him finish him off with Champ's signature, version of uh, the Q weapon, so that was kind of cool. But so yeah, that wrapped up, and then, like, their Zords were basically inaccessible except for Ryuteo, which was already on the ground, or ready for them. So while that was happening, they're like, we gotta get the boat, oh, we'll have powers, boat powers to defeat us, or defeat that, defeat them with its boat. And then Argo happened, or Argo, well yeah, Argo did happen, but I mean, ho, soldier, and it was like this guy with, like, ring girl hair, 
who fought them at first, and there was kind of a funny moment where he finally realized they were the Q Rangers, even though they kept saying it. And he revealed that he's the legendary savior as opposed to them being the ultimate saviors. I believe that's all the terminology. But then he like gave himself a quick haircut with his shield and sword changer and transformed and ho -Oh soldiered it up. And I, I quite like him. Personality wise, right now I do like him. It's kind of like similar to what I said about the commander when he first showed up. Not even just as a ranger, but when he first showed up. Um, that he had like this personality where it's like on this fence where I'm like, you could go to being awesome or annoying or you could teeter there forever. And luckily with Commander, it actually ended up being kind of awesome because I actually really like him and find most of his antics amusing. But like basically ho -Oh Soldier's bit is he talks about how everything he does is legendary. It's kind of like Barney Stinson. Um, so that could end up being annoying. Like right now I kind of like it and I like his personality where he's kind of this like cool, I've been doing a lot of air quotes in this episode, but like kind of the cool character, but he's also got a bit of a quirk to him that gives him some funny moments. Not quite on the level of like Commander yet, but I think you know what I'm talking about if you've followed any Toku ever, where he's kind of more of a badass character, but he's got a little bit of a, a stoic awkwardness and a certain quote that he says that makes him kind of quirky. And I kind of like that. In a way, at this, at this moment, it kind of represents the sort of Toku humor I like, where I'm able to actually root for them in the more serious action moments, but they have enough of a quirk that it's charmingly funny. But like I said, it could end up being annoying. I'm hoping he ends up being an interesting character, because right now I think it's an interesting setup. I like his personality. I'm just hoping that either it doesn't become annoying, or his whole character is just that catchphrase, which is every character on Atmon. Just their whole characters are catchphrases. So I'm hoping that it doesn't end up being that. But at the moment, I like him personality-wise, and I really like his suit a lot. I mean, I like all the Q Ranger suits, but I really like this one as well. I just think it looks really cool, and I love how unique the helmet is, just from not only setting itself apart from the others, but I like that it simultaneously looks like, you know, an astronaut helmet with, like, a, a communication, like, comm coming down like he's about to host an E3 press conference, but then that, that look also looks like his helmet's a Q-Tama. It just works on a lot of different levels. I like his sword and shield weapon. I like it as the changer. I love how the Q-Tama sort of spins within the sword. And we'll see it next week, but I also really like his mech, and I'll save talking about that for next week. But I just really liked his debut. I thought it was good build-up. I liked the character. I liked the suit. It was just really fun, additional Ranger debut stuff. Um, and yeah, overall, very good episode. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it an 8. I'll give it an 8. It was a good episode. I liked it. Um, I'm looking forward to next week to seeing the mech. I'm hoping that they can continue the momentum they've had. Um, like I said, I really appreciate the momentum they had with the Argo storyline, uh, which led to this, which was a pretty satisfying conclusion to it. So I'm hoping they use this to springboat and springboat, springboat, boom, nailed it, but springboard into the next arc and keep that momentum going like they have been where they actually remember their ongoing plot. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Awesome Writer.